What's up guys, gonna be going over some spring clothing that I just picked up. First thing is gonna be the start of a new series I'm gonna be doing, is gonna be the quest for the best t-shirt. So I'm gonna be buying t-shirts from a bunch of different companies and gonna be kind of figuring out what's the best just plain white t-shirt. You know, staple in all of our wardrobes. We all probably have a few of them we, we kind of, you know, regard as our favorites, but you know, what's what actually is the best when you get there and try a bunch of them? Because I feel like I've tried a, a bunch. I've got some friends that are in uh, the clothing business that have given me tips and stuff. And this is the consensus first one to try. And so this is going to start it off here. And I'll do reviews of all this stuff later on. I just wanted to kind of unbox it for you and just let you know what I'm going to be trying out. So this is from a company called Save Khaki. That was the box that I was just holding up. But I got their Supima, which is, you know, the best cotton supposedly in the world. Um, a Supima cotton uh, jersey shirt. It's made in the United States. And I also got their pocket tee as well. Um, let me refresh myself on the price because it... I've been I've been slacking on making videos. Let me tell you what. I think these were 30 and 45, maybe 30 for the regular or 35 and 45, something like that. Oh, price tags are right here. Sorry, I'm off it right now. Look at this. Uh 45 bucks for the crew right here. And then it's gonna be 55 for the heavyweight Supima pocket tee. So why don't we go ahead and just open one up? Just want to get a feel for it initial impressions kind of a thing. It feels ridiculously soft. It feels like your favorite jersey material bed sheets. So I'm just hoping that the fit is um, is kind of where I'm hoping it to be because sometimes some of this kind of fashion-y stuff gets a little slim for me. Um, whoa. Almost knocked that over. This is a casual video. So right off the bat, the fit looks like it's gonna be a little slim for me. But we'll we'll see when we do the full review. Maybe it's pre-shrunk a little bit, uh, or maybe I have to get an XL. So let's see. On to the next thing. All right, now I did get three new pairs of sneakers, so I'm going to be kind of peppering those in through the video. I did a lot of research on like if you're I'm not a sneakerhead, but if you were a sneakerhead, what are like the ten essential shoes you have to get? And I read probably like ten different articles on this. I didn't see too many videos on the essentials for sneakerheads, but just. There's a lot of articles out there, and one of the, the one of the, the go-to de facto ones is the Air Max One. It's the original one. Now this is a reissue of it, obviously. This is a new one, um, but this has their fly knit upper, and then the nice kind of classic big air hole here on the on the bottom. Um, there's a guy named Tinker Hatfield. Is a is a or he was a designer. I don't know if he's still a designer for Nike anymore, but he's the one that invented the exposed air hole. He to, for like marketing purposes, I think he drew off um, the some 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 building in France. I forget what it is, but um, to expose the air hole, and he's the first one to kind of do that for Nike. So these are really really cool, and um, I'm really excited to kind of try these out. And they kind of have that old school sneaker look, but with the kind of higher tech material, this fly knit material. So I thought that this would be a really cool uh, kind of you know. I don't know, compromise between old school sneaker, but you know, modern comforts, modern technologies. All right, next up is a haul of stuff from Bonobos. This is my first time ordering something from Bonobos. My brother likes their stuff. Uh, a lot of my buddies like it, but I've never really given it a try. I take that back. Actually, I got a, a pair of their shoes, their shoes, their shorts on uh, on eBay, and they fit really well. So again, I go to go along with the the best the quest for the best t-shirt i'm giving their plain white t-shirt a try 100 percent cotton it's made in peru so i'm sure the cotton's really high quality i love a pocket tee when available so we'll be kind of doing a review of this one and comparing it to the safe khaki i got another pair of their shorts this is let's see their summer weight oh no these are the chinos i got so these are just full length pants but they're their summer weight chinos so they're good for spring and i just think gray is a good kind of you know versatile color so i'm a size 34 in their stuff and a 32 inch is my uh is my inseam next they had a bunch of dress pants on sale so it's going to be probably pretty hard to to kind of see the material let's see if i can open this up but this has like a little uh spec to it it's kind of dressy but i thought that these would be really cool with like just a plain white button-up and um no blazer just something a little bit different 
And then I got, I think it's the same cut, just a different, different fabric is another pair of dress pants and like a really kind of old school looking, it's not herringbone, but it's a, uh, let's see what they call it. Heather Brown. Well, that was underwhelming. So Heather Brown, and these are actually 34 by 36s. So they're way too long for me, but um, it's only like 10 bucks to get them altered. So that's what we're gonna do. The Dutch sandwich is very economical. And then, yeah, same thing, capstone. Let's see, capstone? No, jet setter cotton trousers. So, but same idea. The other ones were wool. This is a cotton trouser dress pant. I'll do a full review of these um, when I kind of get a chance to try them out. And then I got, let's see, one more pair of, yep, one more pair of the capstone trousers, just in a herringbone pattern this time. So super excited about these. All right, so the next up is another pair of Nikes and there's their Air Maxes as well. Now the, this pair I actually have never seen in person before. I just saw them on eBay and I just thought that they were so cool. I never seen really just all gray suede Air Maxes like this with the uh, Air the Air Max all the way around the bottom. They almost kind of remind me of the I think the Air Max 97s had the Air all around the bottom. Um, but I don't know, they're just different. You don't really see a whole lot of them. They look a little bit like Roger Klotz. <laughs> but I think with the right pair of pants, I think they could be tamed and look kind of cool, but we'll see. We will see. All right, and the last clothing pickup is a pickup from Everlane, and they're so cool. If you've never checked them out, they're so transparent with their pricing and how they mark things up, what certain things cost. And so this little insert here just talks about how the price of cashmere fluctuates. And in this year or the most recent year, it went down. And so then they in turn lowered their price just to kind of remain so transparent. So, um, sorry, we got some, the dogs are barking in the background. So I did get um, one of their cashmere, just a simple cashmere crew neck sweater. Just thought it was like a good staple to have. And I, oddly enough, I didn't have a, um, a gray sweater. So that worked out well. And then I love Oxford shirts. And from what I can tell, I'm gonna be a large. I'm a large in the Gap now fits kind of slim. So, um, and those Gap right now are my favorite Oxford shirts because they're cheap, uh, they're durable, and they just fit right on the money, especially their short sleeve ones. Normally the short sleeve ones are super nerdy to me, but the Gap short sleeve Oxfords are awesome. But I'm gonna give these a try. I've got high hopes. I think they're gonna be good. see and then this is another one this is just like the blue oxford size large move sorry and then a white one size large another thing about radical transparency and then i got some of their t-shirts Feels really soft. Nice pocket tee, Everlane. And to st stay in, or to, to compete with the other white t-shirts, I got one of their white t-shirts. So it's got a little sticker on there I'll have to take off, but really looking forward to doing the quest for the best white t-shirt. I think that'll be really cool. Um, I'm excited to try this one out. So, yep, Everlane. All right, one more I forgot from Everlane. It blended in with the paper that they passed the uh the, they pack the clothing with i got a pair of their drawstring shorts to try out they just looked super comfortable and uh you know just something that you could wear like a little bit in casual situations but still not look sloppy so all right and last but not least is one more pair of nikes and i couldn't resist i had to get one more pair of air maxes i've never really had an air maxes before all of a sudden i just started to really like the way they looked um and so this is the pair i picked up the air max zero and I saw these at a Nike town in New York City and just fell in love with them. And I, I tried them on, I was almost gonna get them, but I couldn't get anyone to help me. And I know that sounds weird, but literally, I was there was people standing around and it was just taking like way too long. No one was getting me a size in anything. I was just like, all right, I guess I'll just go elsewhere. But, cause I like buying shoes in a store. There's more of a memory associated with it. And just sometimes just getting stuff in the mail just gets old and you don't really have a connection with anything, but. You know, after like 20 minutes of waiting, it's just like, I want to get back to my vacation in New York. So um, they're really cool. These are really kind of dark blue. Kind of feel like if James Bond were to wear Air Maxes, this would be the color he wears. So 
Guys, that is my kind of spring clothing haul. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching.